Christian, first of all, welcome to the Major Leagues. I just talked to your mom. She's going to see you play in person for the first time tonight. How exciting is that? It's pretty, I'm pretty ecstatic. Uh, you know, she's watched me play in the minor leagues, but there's nothing that really compares to, to getting me, getting to watch me play here at a big league stadium. So I'm looking forward to it. Now, when she got uh, the news, you called her and told her, you, I've been called up to the major leagues. I don't, she didn't believe you at first. No, at first she didn't believe me. She thought I was joking with her. Uh, it took her a good two minutes to kind of finally realize what was going on. And then by the time that she found out, she just started bawling her eyes out. So yeah. it, was a, it was a good moment for us both. Yeah, indeed. Uh, all, all the work, all those Little League games, right? Sitting through all those leagues. <laughs> exactly, right. exactly. So tell me your call-up story. Uh, so um, our manager, Dave Brundage in AAA, calls me at about 8 in the morning. Now, I'd been sleeping. So I missed the call, and he calls me again around 11, 11.30. Um, I answer the call. He uh, he says to me, he goes, hey, you're going to do some early work today at 1.30 at the field. So I said, okay. So I show up to the ballpark about 1.15. He tells me, hey, come to my office real quick. Got to talk to you. Um, so he's in. I go into his office with him. It's it's him. It's our uh, hitting rover, Andy Skeels, and our uh, hitting coach, uh, Damon Miner. And um, he sits me down, goes over some stuff baseball-wise. Um, you know, the, the hitting guys were just talking hitting and just telling me, uh, a little bit about my approach and how I've been seeing the ball and how I've been, I've been looking pretty good at the plate. And uh, Brundy ends up going, hey, you know, you're going to take some uh, early work at third today. He says, you know, you're going to be playing third base tonight. And I said, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. And uh, I'm leaving his office and he goes, he goes, oh, I, gotta, I, I forgot to tell you something. I said, okay, what is it? He goes, well, you're not going to be playing third in Sacramento. So at that moment, I was like, I, did I have a day off? I didn't understand what's going on. He said, you're going to be playing third in San Francisco. And so I kind of... I, I kind of looked at him all funny. I didn't believe him at first, and I was like, are you, are you being serious? And sure enough, I mean, he was being serious, so kind of broke down a little bit, just because, like you said earlier, yeah. years of hard work put into it and then uh, finally getting that call. And what's the moment like when you walk into the locker room, uh, clubhouse, for the first time and mm -hmm. you see your name there? I mean, it's pretty it's pretty incredible, you know, uh, especially with the guys we have in the clubhouse. We've got a lot of really good veteran guys. Some guys have won three World Series. So uh, to be in that clubhouse with those guys, it's awesome. Everyone congratulated me, and, uh, you know, they just told me to relax, and it's still baseball, you know. So uh, that's what I've been trying to do. After that first ground ball, I kind of settled down a little bit. Uh, going to my first at bat, obviously getting put in a situation right there where you got to move a runner over. It kind of calmed me down a little bit because I had an objective instead of just going up there and, trying to see pitches and trying to get on base there. I was uh, just trying to move runner over. So, you know, it worked out. And it was uh, it was fun. It was a good day. Your shortstop by trade, uh, your third base last night, turned a beautiful double play. You feel more comfortable, uh, obviously, after your first game under your belt. Absolutely. Um, I've been working at third probably the last two years now. So uh, I've been getting a lot of reps there. I've been doing a lot of early work there and stuff. And I'm just been trying to clean up my uh, my defensive game there, and uh, even at short and at second because uh, – you know, you never know what could happen. Sometimes you got to move around. Some guys get day, guys get days off. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, obviously, I'm playing third tonight, so um, just going to keep working there and, and keep developing. You know, it's scary. I've been around long enough. I remember the day that Will Clark showed up uh, as he was selected by the Giants. He wore number 22, mm -hmm. and he was a popular guy here. Yeah. How did you get 22? Um, I I actually showed up to spring training, and it, they had given it to me. So. Um, I don't really know how it went. Uh, I never, I didn't really ask for it. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Um, I knew the thrill wore 22, and you know, I, I didn't want to be that guy to be like, hey, I want to wear 22. But uh, you know, it's it's been a number I've worn my whole life, and and uh, I talked to him about it, and he he you know he told me there's hits in it, so uh, he uh, he said, hey, you know, wear it proudly. So yeah, exactly. Uh, so you won a game under your belt, which is probably a good thing. Clayton Kershaw pitches tonight. Mm -hmm. a so, sort of a dream come true yeah. again, but you're facing one of the best in the game. How yeah. excited are you about the challenge? I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, it's uh, like you said, it's, it's going to be a great challenge. Uh, and I mean, couldn't really ride up any better getting called up Dodger Giant series. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to competing. And uh, I know he's a, he's, a, he's a great competitor. He's a great pitcher. And I'm just looking forward to uh, getting in that box and, and, and you know, going to battle. Hey, congratulations, Thank you. and hopefully a long career. I appreciate it. Thank you.